Hi, it's Chris. And I wanted to make some outdoor signs. So I used my new X-Tool laser engraver slash cutter with both the blue laser and the infrared laser. So let me show you what I did. This is my laser cutter setup. I've got an X-Tool. It's, this one's a 20 watt blue laser. I've got a, it's in a uh, enclosed box with an output fan that goes outside. And also I have a little air compressor that blows the debris out of the nozzle here. The X-Tool comes with its own software, but I went and purchased this Lightburn software because it has a little bit better control and has some built-in material testing. I picked up some black uh, glossy acrylic sheets from X-Tool. Uh, I got the eighth inch thickness. It's supposed to be 12 inches by 12 inches, but if you read the flat, fine print down here, it says it can be off a plus or minus a half an inch. And in my case, it was always off a half an inch on the short side. Here's the test pattern for the 20 watt blue laser. Uh, you can see over on the right there at full power and a slow speed, it actually cuts through the acrylic. The uh, white uh, engraving is not all that bright. It's kind of a chalky kind of look. This is the test pattern for the IR 2 watt laser. And it's pretty cool that at certain power settings, um, at high power and very slow speeds, it actually turns the black acrylic a really nice white color. So this is preferred. Unfortunately, it doesn't have enough power to cut the black acrylic, so I'm going to have to use the blue laser to do the cutting and the IR laser to do the white engraving. I'm setting up some black acrylic to cut out some signs with and then I'm going to engrave them with the infrared laser. I'm running the light burn software and I've got a template set up for four signs that I'm cutting out and I'm using uh, five millimeters per second at 100% power and I'm doing three passes and I've got the constant power mode set. Came right apart. Now that I've finished cutting the acrylic, I've got to switch the blue laser over to the infrared laser so I can do the engraving. The process isn't too hard. You have to disconnect the air hose and you take off the laser and you've got to disconnect this cable in the back here. I kind of wonder how long it's going to last though because it's going to fatigue after a while. But um, we'll see. So now it's disconnected. To put the infrared laser on, you have to reverse the process. Got to insert the plug here. Make sure it's the right way. And it clips down. And then it slides into the, the mount there. And we're done. Next, you have to reset the focus. It has the little... Uh, focus thing on the side but I found that that it's not accurate on the infrared laser because the focal focus is only a plus or minus like a millimeter or less than that so I found the best thing is to raise it and lower it and look at the dot and find it the position where it's the smallest sharpest dot which is not the same as where the uh, little lever on the side sets it I set up the artwork for the sign I'm trying to make in the for the cemetery some old stones. Um, I'm going to do them on black acrylic and hopefully this will t turn out white, the lettering and stuff. I've got the power for the fill uh, set to five millimeters per second at 100% power. And then the blue line, I just have it going pretty quickly because that's just what I'm using to check my alignment with the pre cut coupons.
Well, the sign finished. It's pretty cool. Instead of being engraved, it's actually, the white is above the black surface. Shows up pretty nice. Next, I picked up some 24 gauge stainless steel sheets from Amazon. I did a material test on stainless steel and I did it with the black marking spray and without it to get an estimate of what power settings to use. Next, I'm gonna to try to use the IR laser on a piece of stainless steel that I've used some uh, laser black marking spray and we'll see how it does. This is the result of the laser after the blackening spray. Now I have to go wash this off and we'll see if it actually sticks or not. Well, that didn't work too well. I don't know if I put the spray on too thick this time or if the laser spot was not as focused as it should have been, but I'm gonna try again. This time I'm doing just the plain stainless steel. The stainless steel sheet warped on the top right corner so it didn't engrave it because it was out of focus so I'm just trying to redo the one corner. Well this is the sign that has just uh, direct laser engraving. I did not use the black spray on this one and I had a problem with this top edge the metal warped so it didn't work well and I redid it just the one corner. Came out very nice though. Now I have to figure out how to cut it. I bought a special hardened drill bit for stainless steel, but I couldn't get it to work on it, so I ended up using a punch instead. I have this piece of uh, three quarter inch angle. It's a 16 th inch thickness of aluminum. And I'm gonna cut it into two stakes that I can use to mount these signs. Just have to drill two holes. I just used some stainless steel quarter 20 uh, Allen wrench uh, bolts and it looks pretty good. Well I hope this was helpful showing you how you could make some outdoor signs out of stainless and acrylic. If it was please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.